Hey, this is Toby. Welcome back to another video. So today we test another strategy. I posted here on the channel. It's the Dungeon Channel EA. We will see with new data or the sample data if the strategy still performs well and if you can use it for your own trading and add it to your portfolio. Okay, so what I want to do in this video is to test the initial strategy, of course, and then also run a optimization to see if we can improve the strategy and maybe find some better settings. So I will link the initial coding tutorial up here so you can go watch it, code it on your own. Also, all the YouTube code files, they are available on my website now. Um, if you're interested and if you don't want to spend the time coding it on your own, uh, you can check it out. I think it's a pretty good deal. You get all the EAs from my um, coding tutorials. Okay, so here for the EA, I select now the Dungeon Channel EA. Of course, we code it here on the channel. Um, for the symbol, we use the out cat symbol, um, Australian dollar, Canadian dollar, because the strategy is a mean reverting strategy. So that works well on something like out cat, British pound cat. Um, I think it will not work on US dollar, Japanese yen or the trending pairs, for example. So let's use the broker symbol here. Time frame was one hour and the time period um, we start in 2012 here up to today or maybe for the first initial test we will use my custom symbol I have here outcat from Dukas copy um, right here it's take data this does not go all the way to the current date but is fine for some out of sample testing and after that we will also use the broker symbol i just want to show you the difference between different data sources um, especially in the beginning like in the early years 2012 um, 14 15 and so on so zero latency open price only um, everything else should be okay make sure to set your commissions um, for the test correctly I show how to do this in my strategy development course, of course. Uh, just make sure you use commissions. And for the inputs, uh, lot size is fixed. It's fine. Stop loss, take profit in percent of the channel, basically. And stop loss is 200, take profit 175. We close the trades on a opposite signal. Um, we filter for the channel size, 325 points. Um, period of the dungeon channel is 100 and the offset is 40%. Okay, so let's increase this a little bit and run this test. Maybe first of all, we do a visual test here to make sure the strategy works correctly. Yeah, we can see with the 40% offset, of course, we are trading way below and above the Dungeon Channel. But we basically take a trade when we are below a certain threshold here, below the Dungeon Channel. We take a buy trade and the opposite for a sell signal. Um, so let's run this without the visual mode. And let's see the equity grab. Okay. Um, let me check out the video I posted here on the channel. I think this was two years ago and basically the back test test here and right here. So this would be here and we can see the last, yeah, two years is out of sample and the strategy makes a new equity high and is still performing pretty well. So that's pretty, that's a good sign. Um, that the strategy is not over optimized to the um, backtest data. Now I also want to show you here the backtest report, of course, but I also want to use the same settings on the broker symbol. And I will show you that there is a big difference, especially in the beginning. If I use outcat here, run the same test. Yeah, we can see there's a big difference um, in the result. So that's something I see a lot um, with my strategies, uh, with using the broker data and a custom symbol. 
So the first years up until 2015, 16, the data from the broker is not, not good. And you get just different results um, compared to a custom symbol. But after 2016, 17, um, the results, they pretty much match with a custom symbol. You can see here, the last part here of this backtest is pretty close to our first backtest. And this would be here the out of sample part. Okay, now I also want to run a optimization, but I will do this on a custom symbol since I don't trust the results here of my broker symbol in the first years. So let's switch back to the custom symbol. Out cat. Um, yeah, let's use the entire date range. Now the custom symbol stops, I think, in the summer last year, 2024, somewhere, but it should be enough for this video. Okay, now let's run a optimization with my custom symbol here and slow complete algorithm. I use the profit factor max for the custom criteria or for the yeah, performance metric. Now for the input, I want to optimize the stop loss, take profit and size filter. I don't want to touch the dungeon channel inputs. I think free inputs are enough. So let's just start this optimization here and let's wait for the first results. Um, I will cut the video here. Okay, now the optimization is done. Um, these are the results. So the top result here has a profit factor of 1.56 with 700, nearly 800 trades. Um, but very interesting here, we have a very small take profit. So we will have a lot of winning trades and then some big losing trades. Um, yeah, let's check out the equity of this run here. Looks pretty interesting. Um, maybe you can combine this with a, another combination and split your capital basically in half. So you are a little bit more diversified if you just want to trade the dungeon channel strategy here. But I will always advise to yeah, use different strategies, different symbols, different time frames. But let's take a look at another um, combination, maybe with yeah a higher tech profit. So we have 800 trades here. Let's take a look at this one. That looks pretty amazing um, for such a simple strategy. I mean reverting strategy basically on out Canadian dollar. Now, what I would do with the strategy, I would not trade it live immediately. I would maybe trade it just with a small, small lot size and just monitor it for a few weeks or months even um, to see if it really performs with new auto sample data. Um, as I said, my data ends here somewhere in 2024. So you can even get new data test exactly this EA with the data from Duca's copy, tick data, and then you would also have some out of sample already. What I also want to do is to test the strategy here with real ticks, um, because now we have a profit factor of 1.45, 816 trades, and I will think the result will be a little bit worse with real ticks. So I will start this here. This will take a while. I will cut the video. Okay, so far this looks pretty good, but these real tick tests, they really, they take forever. I will just cut to the end. Okay, so finally we are done and the results, they're pretty close to the open price only results. Um, 1.41, a little bit worse, but overall nearly same amount of trades and overall the equity looks still pretty amazing. Okay, what I also want to do, just to make sure to test this with the outcat symbol from my broker with every tick. Okay, so this is the result with the default broker symbol here and every tick based on real ticks. Now very interesting, here in the end we have a small drawdown. So this might be a good time to start the strategy. Also, as I said before, I would not trust the results here in the first few um, years because the data is just um, pretty bad. Okay, so there you have it. This is the Dungeon Channel EA strategy, pretty simple strategy, but amazing results. 
Now it's up to you. Always test on your own. Code this with the coding tutorial. I link it up here. Or as I said in the beginning, you can get the code uh, from my website. Also, I want to implement the signal in the future to my into my master EA. So you can trade this strategy with my master EA. Um, I will update this soon. There are already different strategies you can trade with my master EA if you're interested. It's on the MCOL5 market. The link is below the video. Yeah, if you have any questions about the strategy, write a comment. And in the next videos, I will also test other strategies I posted here on the channel. I will also talk a little bit more about stability testing. Um, yeah, how to optimize strategies and that stuff. Okay, if you don't want to miss that, subscribe, like the video, and I wish you a great week and good trades.